Hello friends, welcome back and this is Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. And today's video will be very interesting and we are going to see that how can we find the missing sequence number from the list. I know we have did this video before with the help of the Power Query, but today we are going to do it with the dynamic arrays. And if you'd like to check the Power Query video, the link is in the below video description, so you can feel free to check it. So as you can see, this is our data set over here. And in this data set, we have some numbers and we would like to extract those missing numbers from here. So let's begin writing the formula. So as usual, I'll be breaking the formula into pieces and then we are going to combine it into one cell to get the result. So the first formula, what we would be needing is to know the minimum value and the maximum value from this list. So the minimum value is one and the maximum is six. So we wanted to generate a series from one to six. To do that, we are going to use the sequence function. Yes, the sequence function, it allows you to generate the sequence of the number. So we are going to call the sequence function equals to sequence. And on the sequence, we are going to call the max because we would like to extract the max value from this list. Close parentheses, comma. So the rows, the max value is six. So it will spill the information till six rows. Columns. We don't need anywhere the columns to get spill, comma, start. Yes. So we need the min to be our starting position and close parentheses, comma, and step will be one. We need to increment it by one every time. So as soon as I hit enter, here we got. So what we need to do in the rows area, we need to minus the min value with the max value. The reason why I'm going to do this because in case if my numbers are changing, like suppose I have here 35 and we have 40 and we just need the difference between these range. Now, if you see the sequence has generated till 40 occurrence, we have it over here with the increment of one every time. This is not what we are looking for. So to do that, we are going to edit this formula. We're just simply going to copy the min control C and minus with the max value. So this is a sequence what we are looking for. If you need to include the last number as well, just add plus one. So this is a very important construction of the formula to get all our results correct. So the next thing what we are going to do, we are going to compare the list with our sequence list. So we are just simply going to call match. That's a wonderful formula. Match the sequence and I'm going to press the pound key. So it knows that it's in dynamic array and it can pull the information as the new array information comes down. And we're going to select this column, column A, comma, and exact match, close parentheses. Wonderful. So after we have this results of match now, these are the numbers which are missing, my friends. Let me put 37 over here. And as you can see, we got the position number of 37. So now we are going to call another function, which is called the filter function. We're going to call filter and that's my array. I'm going to put the pound key so that it can detect the dynamic range is NA. And we are going to say D2 and the pound key. Again, close parentheses, in close parentheses, enter. Let me expand the column. So here we have it. The missing numbers are generated over here. So let us put 55. So the list is automatically getting expanded and we are getting all that missing numbers over here. That's awesome, my friends. Now let us wrap this entire function into one cell. So as I told you, this is a very important construction of the formula. So I'm going to copy this formula and we're going to paste it over here. So this is a sequence what is generated now. And now we are going to call the match. Okay, so the match function. So the lookup value. Yes, the lookup value was our array, comma, and we wanted to look it into column A, comma, and the exact match. Close parentheses, we got these NAs. So now we are going to call is NA. So we got trues and false. Now the entire function we are going to wrap it into a filter function filter 
and you remember we have copied that important sequence formula and I would just remove this equal to sign from here and comma so all looks good close parentheses enter bingo that's how we can do magic with dynamic arrays new dynamic arrays functions are really awesome my friends now even you can wrap this information to text join okay and once you text join it my delimiter will be comma space comma and this will be true ignore the empty cells this will be basically my text value so i'll be just going and close parentheses enter we got it everything in one line 36 38 39 these are the numbers which are missing so let us test it now and we are just going to remove this and we'll say number 4 and 14 so the my sequences has been generated from 4 to 14 and then I got the missing so let's say 5 6 7 that's so dynamic that as I keep entering the numbers it has been getting updated this is super amazing and also one more thing my friends suppose in case in your scenario the list is starting from one but you have the numbers starting from four then you can say your min number should be one okay so that will allow you to calculate everything correctly from one to fourteen as you can see over here and also i have prepared the same example with the help of the table excel table so you can just check this excel table sheet and i'll be keeping a soft copy of this file on my facebook group page so you can download from there and do let me know your thoughts about the new dynamic arrays in the below video comment section signing off for today your friend farash sheikh from fshake excel master see you soon happy learning